My most favorite and most used piece of equipment is the Stream Deck right here. It's got all these 32 buttons on it. And using this software called Companion that I have running here, I can make it control pretty much anything we do at a show. So often we will have lots and lots of individual pieces of equipment scattered across many tables and all interconnected, but we gotta control them all somehow and bring up all the things you need to do right here. So I have a whole bunch of different things I'm controlling here. I can control what goes on the screen up here with these buttons. I can control which camera I take here. And then I control things like the the graphics here, the name straps and everything, all from one place. So this is really handy and it reduces the amount of work it takes to do a show. I was in this hotel a couple months ago doing a site visit for a job coming up. I hadn't been there in, I don't know, 25 years. I'm in this room and I remember being, it was entertainment imaging. We had 250 attendees. I was working with my dad, an audio tech, video tech, lighting tech, meeting planner, the hotel. And I was just kind of doing miscellaneous things throughout the process. And after a day or two, I remember going to my dad and just being like, come on, dad, you brought me all the way here. I want to learn something. Give me some gear. I want to learn the technology. Let me get behind something. And he grabbed me by the shoulders and he said, all right, got some responsibility. He goes, well, mind you, he's drinking coffee from this. This urn of coffee was just gigantic. <laughs> and he goes, all right, he's drinking his coffee. And now he's starting to get an audience. My dad can certainly draw a crowd. And he goes, all right, go get a case. It was labeled Y2. It was an old Sure wireless mic case, a dual mic case to be precise. And I remember he goes, it's really important you keep this up and running for the rest of the show. And I go get the case, I'm all excited. And I reach down, I unlatch the sides, I unlatch the front, I lift it up. I'm like, son of a... It was a custom case. It had a coffee maker, creamer, sugar, cups, filter. <laughs> <laughs> and being young and just green to this industry and the working world uh, as a whole, I really didn't grasp that until later in my career. And the point that he made was you're going to pay the same dollar amount to do audio, to do video, to load a truck, to help a customer, to solve a problem. So just add value on site. We're doing some stuff for social media that the guys participated in earlier and we were talking about this. My favorite tool on site is a coffee maker, without a doubt, so. Something that I can't go without and the biggest tool on any job site for me usually is my pookie, is Max, Max here. I don't get to go on every show with him, but when I do, those are the best ones because I have someone to rely on and help me out if I have a question or need like a hand lifting something. So it's always good to have uh, the team here with us to help shoes go smoothly. So I would have to say this MacBook. Um, it has every time I go to a show, I bring this MacBook and I know it has what I need on it. I have Smart and Q Labs and Spotify and Wireless Workbench. I just know when I go to a show, there's nothing that I am like worried about, like software wise having. And then this board we just got, it's just great. It's got a ton of inputs for such a small board. We have some effects that I really like that we didn't have with our old boards, like a dynamic EQ or a de -esser. It has a scribble strip, so I don't need to have to lay out tape and write out my inputs every single time. And I can have a bunch of custom layers because the scribble strip says what's on there for me. Come one, come all! Down to the Cheshire AV Magical Circus.